Hi everyone, it's Jane here from New Street Church along with Johnny and Charlotte. Uh, we made the video about the It's Your Move book and we're going to answer some of your questions now. Yep. So uh, listen in, maybe some of these questions will be something that you've been thinking or worrying about. Uh, hopefully we've got some answers and a little bit of help. So first of all, first question is, I'm really worried about being bullied. So what should I do? Um, let's start with Johnny. Any ideas about that question, Johnny? Yeah, that's a really good question. Well, the, the honest thing is, is that um, bullying happens and that is rubbish. And bullying shouldn't happen. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes it does. Uh, we could go on to why people are bullying, but I think that's a different question. I think, first of all, we need to think about what we do if we are being bullied. So the most important thing when we are being bullied is to recognise that it's not right. Uh, sometimes we, we make it feel like we should be bullied or maybe we deserve to be bullied. Maybe it's the way we look or the things we say or the things we wear or maybe it's the things we do or the things we don't do. And bullying is never right uh, and you should never be bullied. So the first thing is you need to make sure that you recognise that. The second thing is that it's really important to talk. Um, sometimes we hold on to these experiences like they're okay, or even if they're not okay, we feel like someone's gonna judge us or someone's gonna think little of us if we share, um, but it's really important to share. And there's different people who you can share with. If you feel you could speak to your parents, that's a really good thing to do, and hopefully they will help. Um, if you're being bullied at school, or outside of school, it's really important to speak to a teacher. It's really, really important that you speak up about bullying, or if you notice one of your friends or someone else who's been bullied, to speak to a teacher, to speak to a member of staff about it so that they can help you. And also, you know, in my experience, personally, I was bullied through primary school and I held on to it for a long, long time. And then eventually I spoke out and something happened about it. But all during that time, I was able to speak to God about it. That might be a bit weird for you. Uh, maybe you've never done that before. But actually, prayer for me was an amazing way of getting through a hard time. Uh, and even though I was being bullied, praying about it, bringing it to God, made me feel far less alone during those difficult times. And God helped me come through it by the people around me. Thanks, Johnny. That's great. Um, now, moving on to the second question, and um, Charlotte, I'm going to ask you about this one. Um, I'm really anxious about everything, and that means everything. What can I do? I think um, it's so normal to be anxious. This is a massive change uh, going from primary school, where you probably know a lot of the people that you're at school with, um, to a school where maybe you don't know many people. I think um, the best thing to do is make sure that you're prepared, ready for September. So maybe that means making sure all of your uniform is washed and ironed and clean and ready for you to just put on. Maybe it means making sure your bags are packed like a week in advance, um, knowing whether you're gonna have food at the canteen or taking a packed lunch. Um, knowing whether your friends are going to be there and arranging to meet them wherever um, that it might be. But talking to your parents is really important as well, telling them how you feel, what maybe is making you anxious. If it's um, the thought of walking between classrooms when you get to school, making sure you know which classrooms you need to go to and teaming up with someone on your first day is a good idea. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, lots of good ideas there from Charlotte. Thank you. So another question I've got is about getting to school. So um, if maybe you're getting on the bus for the first time or maybe you've got to walk for the first time without parents, that can be a bit of a worry. Um, Johnny, any, any ideas about that, getting yeah. to school? Yeah, so for, for some of you guys, um, you'll be getting a lot more exercise <laughs> going to secondary school. Maybe you're not going to get dropped off as many times, or maybe it's a bit further away. Uh, and maybe some of you have got to master um, the bus system, and that might be like, oh, what am I going to do about that? Well, rest assured, you're not the only person who's thinking about that. Uh, and there are definitely some really practical solutions, okay? So if you're walking there, it might be that during the summer, 
it might be a good idea to either with a friend or with your parents or maybe a sibling if they're up for helping uh, walk to school i know that sounds mad because you're like why am i walking to school and then school's not on yet and i'm just going to walk back but you will feel so much better if you're worried about the route or you're worried about how long it takes what you can do is before you set off set your timer on your phone or your watch and then record how long it takes to get there maybe having a bit of a practice run would be really really helpful might just give you that bit of extra information to know what you're doing uh, if you're getting the bus one really good thing if you've got an older sibling who already gets the bus um, buy them a piece of chocolate give it to them and then say now tell me what's the bus really like and they'll be able to tell you where you get on where you get off what time it comes they may even be up for helping you on those first few days as you go if you don't have a sibling it might be that you could contact the school and they'll give you a little bit more information about the bus route that you'll take uh, and the, when the bus would come to the stop. Also, if you're getting a public bus there, um, you can get all that information from the local council as well and the local bus service. So hopefully those practical ideas uh, give you a little bit more advice about getting to school and back. Thanks, Johnny, that's great. Um, the next question is uh, all about being shy. So this person has said, I'm really shy and I don't make friends very easily. And so I'm now really worried uh, about making new friends. How do I go about making new friends? Mm. Charlotte, any ideas? I think maybe you need to set challenges for yourself. So um, meeting new people is scary. It's something I'm not very good at. There's definitely going to be people who feel the same way as you and sometimes it just takes one person being brave and then you've got loads of new friends so I think during maybe your first lesson or um, tutor time or whatever you call it registration kind of taking some time to think I'm going to be brave and I'm going to talk to one new person in every lesson that I'm in today just a little chat and the more that you do that, the more that you will be brave and the more brave you'll become. And the conversations will turn from two minute little chats to bigger, um, longer chats and even friends. For me, the biggest thing is praying. Like Johnny's already said, I think asking God for um, bravery and for wisdom to say the right words I think that's really important and it's definitely helped me before prayer and asking God for wisdom and bravery and courage courage is what it takes um, even though it's scary you can do it you are amazing and there are definitely people out there who are also scared so just step out take the risk it's also worth saying as well that number of friends does not outweigh the value of a few close friends. You know, you might be um, looking on social media and you think, oh, I don't have many followers or I don't have like loads of friends at school yet. But actually, when it comes down to it, uh, it's not about how many friends you have. It's about the quality of the friends that you do. So my advice would be um, invest in a few people uh, really well. Uh, spend time with them at break, spend time with them at lunch. Um, you know, if you meet new people at school that you weren't in your primary school, then maybe outside of school, you could arrange times to meet up and get to know them. Um, and you'll realize that actually, it's not about knowing everyone in the school. Uh, but if you have a few close friends, um, you'll feel so much more supported. Thank you. So the next question um, is about homework. Now, Johnny, I know there's some bits in the book about homework. Mm. Um, how, how do people, uh, how would you answer a question is about homework and somebody worrying about how much they're going to get? Yeah, I think because we don't do a lot of homework in, in primary school, maybe some of you did some homework through year six. Um, Homework seems like a really daunting idea, doesn't it? Um, it's quite nice, isn't it, when you think, oh, school's finished and home begins and I don't want to muddy the water and I don't want to have to take work home with me. However, part of being in secondary school is about stepping up in your academic experience. It's about stepping up in your knowledge and it's not something that you need to be worried about. OK, there's a few reasons why. First of all, homework builds gradually. So you might feel, well, I'm just going to have a zillion things on day one to do. 
but your teachers through year seven are going to help you get to grips with doing your homework for the first time. So don't worry. Uh, it's also important that you work at your pace with your ability. Uh, I was someone who didn't find English very easy and often struggled with maths at school. It's something that I had to practice. So don't worry, work at your pace and try your best. And that's all your teachers will want you to do is to try your best at each thing that you apply yourself to. Um, I'd say for homework, there's some things you can do at home which are really helpful. Um, if you can, um, find a space in your home where you're going to do all your homework. It might be that you're lucky enough to have a desk space in a bedroom. It might be that you've got a dining room space or you've just got a little corner of the room that you can dedicate to doing your homework. If you have one little space where you can have your pens, where you can have a space with your books, it's really helpful not trying to do your homework in front of the PlayStation or the Xbox or trying to do your homework when there's loads of distractions. That way you can come home you can sit in your space and you can get your work done and feel really productive and feel like you're on top of things. If you get left behind and you feel like you're really struggling with your work, it's really important to speak to your teachers because they're there to help. They're not there to be angry or cross. They're there to help you. And actually, if you say to them, I'm really finding this homework hard or I'm finding this project difficult or maybe I'm a bit behind, always speak to your teachers. Don't lie. Don't pretend it's not an issue. Don't stuff the homework down the side of the sofa and pretend it's not there. Speak to your teachers. They'll help you get through it and you'll learn more by doing that and you'll feel a lot better about it as well. I think I found um, having your own space to do your homework is really important and for me going straight home from school, having a snack, getting a drink and just sitting down and doing it for 30 minutes, 45 minutes and then saying that's it, I'm done, is is way better than letting it hang around until the night before it's due mm -hmm. and then panicking because you've got four pieces of homework and you're going to have to spend six hours on it and then you're going to go to bed really late. So I think just be little and often, half an hour when you got home from school with a snack and a drink is better than leaving it. Good, some great advice there, thank you you too. Um, another another one, another person that asked about getting lost. Um, Charlotte, I might come to you first with this one. So, what happens if I get lost? First of all, breathe. <laughs> I think it's really important to not get stressed. So, just stop where you are, breathe, look at your timetable and see where you're meant to be. If you're with a friend, maybe together you can work it out where you are and the way you can, how you can get back um or if there's other people around ask someone for directions i think it's it's as simple as that just say excuse me we're looking for this place how do i get there it's really easy to get lost it's different they are crazy places secondary schools <laughs> um so just breathe try not to stress and ask someone where you're meant to be yeah, and you'll be, you'll be surprised how helpful other people will be. Uh, even though a lot of the rest of school will feel really big and you'll be looking up at these year 11s and year 10s, most year 11s, year 10s, 9s and 8s are willing to help if you ask. And if not, then you can try another person. And before you know it, you'll get to the place where you need to be. Thank you. Um, another one here is uh, from somebody else who's, I think, really anxious because they say, I'm just scared. I'm really scared and I don't want to go. Um, so, Johnny, any advice for this person? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, it's really normal. Um, it's really, really normal to feel scared, um, especially when we're experiencing mega change in our life. And this is like a big change moment, isn't it? Um, you know, you've been in your primary school if you've been in the same school all the way through for years. Uh, so to come to a new school and start that again can feel quite daunting. Um, however, there's some things uh, which we can remember. Uh, and the first thing to remember um, is that you're not alone. Uh, everyone is feeling a degree of fear and a degree of nervousness. And some maybe feel it more than others. And it might be you who's feeling it a little bit more than others. And that is okay. It's absolutely okay. And it's very normal to feel that way. Um, the second thing is that school takes time to get used to. Um, you won't remember it now, but probably when you went 
for the first time in reception or you went to a preschool, you probably got the jitters at times. It might be that you could speak to uh, your mum or dad or whoever looks after you about that experience. Ask them what it was like. Um, because they'll probably say it took you a bit of time to get used to it. And that's exactly the same with secondary school. It's fearful now because it's unknown. But once it becomes known, it becomes less fearful. Once we start to get used to going there, whether it's in the car, on the bus, or when we walk, once we've done that a couple of times, we're like, okay, that's not so bad, is it? And then when we've done to our lessons and we get to know our English teacher and our maths teacher, get to know our art teacher or PE, then we realise actually these teachers are great. I don't need to be so afraid about that. Or it might be that you're fearful about the food. Maybe you're not going to like the food. And then you get there and you realise the canteen's really nice, the food's good. Or maybe, you know, I've got a really great packed lunch and I feel confident about that. Before you know it, all those things are added up to this great big mountain. It turns out they were just little hills after all. And before you know it, you've really mastered it. So right now you might feel scared, but it really won't last for a long time it will be okay and you'll get through those moments and you know what you'll also feel a real sense of accomplishment when you do because you were feeling fearful and now you're not and also through the times of fear like in the last video we know that God can help us through that fear and it might be weird for you but I challenge you take your fear to God ask him to protect you ask him to give you peace and you'll you'll be so surprised when you feel more peaceful you'll feel more focused and you'll feel like someone is with you. And that's something that really helped me through any of the times in my life when I felt really scared, including moving up to secondary school. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, um, can I remind you that you've got this book with lots of advice in there. It's your move, so don't forget to read that and have a look at what the other um, students say. Because at the back there's four for people who have gone through um, transition from year six to year seven and they tell their own story in their own words. I think they're really helpful. Mm. So have a look at those. Um, we hope that we will see you either in school or in New Street Church in uh, September. And that would be great to see you there. Uh, but in the meantime, we uh, wish you all the best. Have a lovely summer and uh, hopefully we will see you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.